I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. You, Bobby, that includes me and you foster care. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. This is New Atlantis Transit, or The Net. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. when Tony and I leave. No, probably not. Oh, hi there. I'm doing great. How about you? Glad to hear it. Yeah, life is good, isn't it? I've been trying to save up enough money so that I can go explore the settled systems with my boyfriend, Tony. I think we're finally getting close. Tony and I want to see what else is out there. I love my job, but there has to be more to life than just being a janitor in New Atlantis. What about you? Have you gone on any adventures? That's amazing. I'm so jealous. One day you'll have to tell me and Tony all about them, okay? Really? Well, I guess you're right. I'm feeling a bit run down. I really love my job, but it's hard work and long hours. I could definitely use the Terracino from Terra Brew right now. Really? That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. Well, that depends. Are you a foodie or a shopper? If that's the case, you have a lot of options here in New Atlantis. Don's Roost is probably the fanciest. They have great steaks there. But I'll be honest, I'm more of a chunks girl, and my boyfriend and I can't get enough of Terra Brew. Not too bad. Found a box of pens the other day. You'd be amazed at what people leave lying around. See you around.
Hi there. Good. Welcome to Hello and the welcome to Terror Brew. How may I serve you? And there are two locations in New Atlantis. Corporate policy requires me to state that everything Terra Brew offers is my favorite. Yeah. Certainly. Please take your time. Times change. But one thing is constant. People need coffee. Thanks for choosing Terra Report back. Certainly. Please take your time. Another day, another credit. One day, I'm gonna leave New Atlantis for good. Oh, thank you so much. Soon I'll be coursing with bountiful energy. I'll be the most enthusiastic janitor in New Atlantis. <laughs> Here, take this. I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. Thanks again, I really appreciate it. Take care of yourself. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power.
concert by classical violinist Elizabeth Bell sold for a staggering 70,000 credits. Mr. Singh said in an interview, although we can't expect a repeat of what happened. With DeMille, we do ask that everyone open their hearts and their wallets for this worthy cause. should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Captain Mark, everyone will be in the library just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh, please. You're ridiculous. Easiest bet I'll ever win. Think what I'm suggesting is so outlandish, we appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here, and he isn't? Sarah Morgan, Chair of Constellation. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been... Factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now. Let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Contrary, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that. girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? 
See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal, another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. makes it back to us. I know he gets into trouble all the time and everyone just sort of accepts he'll be fine, but still. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Oh, gosh, no, I mean, that's, that's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition, I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're gonna be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. I can't be certain that they will, but more data points are always a good thing. I don't want to rule out anything that could provide a breakthrough. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. He did, at the time, well, it's Barrett. 
We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. Sure, I'm not trying to suggest otherwise. I wasn't there when it happened. I'm just thinking it through. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Of course, there's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for, a type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now, but we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses, and he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Anything I can learn from is a help. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right, so you've seen the library, obviously. Walter's quite proud of the collection, but Mateo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. So this is the bar, usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, this'll be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't wanna keep her waiting too long. Enjoy. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. 
I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. Okay, that's all right. Maybe you weren't supposed to. Maybe it'll make sense later. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Take care of yourself. I am at your service, Captain. Captain, now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research. Exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. The 
scan booster is the most obvious as it will enable you to detect landmarks and other points of interest from further away. Beyond that, extractors will allow you to collect raw materials of various types, while fabricators enable the manufacturing. A particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction of cargo links, allowing you to share resources between other outposts you have built. A planetary scan will reveal the presence of key inorganic resources, although rarer elements will be harder to find without training. And while a scan may detect the presence of life on a planet, you will have to analyze the native plants and animals yourself to know what compounds they produce. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. I believe Barrett would find your question amusing. Barrett has thus far survived every mission on which we have embarked. It is therefore evident that my efforts have been successful. I suspect that Barrett would disagree with how necessary my intervention has been in any given situation. I arrived along with many material goods purchased by the group's previous chair, Malcolm Livingstone. Despite several significant system replacements and upgrades, I have been online for 43 years. Captain Mark, I will proceed to my assigned post. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So. Let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. Yes, well, a stocked bar is a treat I think Constellation can afford. For now. But if you clean us out, you're on your own. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, 
I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. We're most well known for ship manufacturing. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Not exactly, no. But I suppose it doesn't matter. You saw something. Barrett saw something. That's an unlikely coincidence. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Bye. Sarah. the best possible person to be running Constellation in a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and...
curious feeling knowing that you've seen something that no one else has. That you know something no one else does. <laughs> well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself. At the... Until next time. Hello, Captain.